In this video, we are going to look at the PIM Core documentation. You can find the PIM Core documentation when you go to the PIM Core website. And then you go to Community and Documentation. You are directed to a different site that shows you the documentation for the latest version of PIM Core. And even though the versions change, there shouldn't be a lot of difference since the API, I have upgraded PIM core versions since version one, and I actually never had any problems with any change in the programming API or anything. They kept adding features, but pretty much all the features were backwards compatible. The whole documentation is quite extensive and they are touching on all kinds of topics that you may or may not need throughout uh, developing or rolling out or installing PIM core uh, configuration. And all of this is well documented in a way that makes it easy for developers to find their way through the PIM core developing and deployment and configuration management. In the next few videos, we will touch base on the documents, assets, and objects. In this course and throughout this course, we will not talk about the multi-language features from PIM Core, but if you want them, you can dive in right in the documentation here. We will talk about a little bit about uh, versioning and the tools and features. We will talk about the directory structure in the next videos. We are talking about the email framework. I will show you in the later sections how you can deploy PIM core and what it's about the multi environment configurations like a development environment and the production environment. I will show you how you can of course, install PIM Core. That's going to be in the next videos. And how to upgrade PIM Core, we are talking in later sections. And that's pretty much it. If you need any older versions, uh, any documentation for any older versions, you can also find it here. And you can also find a link to the official GitHub repository where you can post any issues if you find any with PIM core, but there shouldn't be a lot. Okay, in the next video, we are going to download PIM core and install it.